For me, cars are the ultimate vehicle for self-expression. I am never gonna be the same. <laughs> I love them. I can't help it. It's irrational, I'm not sorry. In this series, I explore adventures in cars with people who show me how to be a better version of myself. Side bend to the right. Oh, I got a lot of... My guests expand my small-minded horizons. People who don't take risks don't go very far. And in return, I share my fun world of cars. Hi, nice. I like it. With a ride in a vehicle they've never experienced. Today, I'm diving headfirst into something I'm terrible at. Staying focused. <laughs> With my brain going 100 miles a minute, finishing a thought is something to celebrate. Oh, look, a squirrel! <laughs> so I called my yogi friend, Mallory. This is gonna get interesting. Hi. She's never been in a Honda CRV. I never have. I wanted to change that. I'm very much looking forward to it. And introduce her to this practical crossover for our desert lifestyle. I'm Alyssa Tyler, and this is my calming my nerves while having zero flexibility Sedona yoga adventure in the Honda CRV. So what do you think? First impressions? It's very comfortable and pretty. Let's hit the uh, start button here and we'll be off. Yes. Who needs to sit in their recliner at home when you could be sitting in a CRV on the road in Sedona? Enjoying an adventure. Front row seat, baby. Yeah. I've done yoga in the past, but I wouldn't consider myself extremely flexible or good at it. Well, it just takes practice. Cool. To get some of these balancing poses are a bit challenging. So when you're standing on one foot with your arms in the air and you know all this stuff is going on, you have to focus on being in your body. Car drives really smooth. It's a little four-cylinder turbo. My first impression of it: the very cute and sleek crossover. I really do enjoy how well I fit here. I mean, I can see well over the dashboard. The seat is extremely comfortable. And great vehicle. Win, win, win. Great. I think a sunroof is a must. I think so too. You can look in every direction and view. It kind of feels like I'm on Mars or something. Quiet too, it's a quiet engine. How's it feel going up the hill? It doesn't feel like I'm dragging. And I have the air on too. Let's go do some yoga. It is beyond gorgeous here. Inhale, sweep your arms to the sky. Heart is lifted here, so do we feel taller, right? A little bit. The beginnings of yoga can be traced back to India, 5,000 or more years ago. It's mentioned in old sacred texts like the Rig Veda, and the Upanishads, where meditation and yoga are practiced to achieve a higher spiritual state. Through breath and movement, it's said to teach the sacrifice of the ego through self-knowledge. They say you practice yoga because no one ever really perfects it. You can't ever graduate to the highest form of yourself. You're always expanding in a never-ending journey of self-evolution. It's pretty deep, actually. This is See difficult. Yeah but you're doing great. Thank you. One more breath here. It includes breath control. Inhales, you bring your hands behind the neck. Focuses the mind. <laughs> the armpit's gonna open towards the sky. Oh, I got a lot of... Improves agility. And step back to a high plank pose. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Makes you smarter. Pedal out for feet. What is that? Bend one knee and straighten the opposite leg. Oh, pedal, like a bicycle. Yeah. Oh, I like that. And increases your inner and outer strength. Tadasana, mountain pose. If you're doing it right, I'm gonna come up and push you. Oh boy. You should be strong. Yes, yeah. look at that. Mountain pose like a mountain. This stuff looks easy, 
but it's really not. Gaze is over the front middle finger. Bring a slight engagement of the inner thighs. Mm -hmm. Lift through the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then drop the shoulders down. Yeah. Bring the state, keep your legs. Yeah, slight adjustment. Can you go a little deeper at the front knee? Like that? Yeah. And then bring your knee just a little bit. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Slight adjustments make a big difference, huh? It feels a lot different than it yeah. looks. Yeah. It feels good though. Your hands can come to heart center. And then eventually you can bring the arms up and open your branches. Yoga. Yoga. <laughs> yes, let's eat. Then I stuffed my face with organic cherries and Mallory talked to me about nutrition. I love a picnic. She made yummy hummus. So it's red lentil instead of um, garbanzo beans. You're definitely inspiring me to live a little healthier. And then in the coleslaw, I have red cabbage, green cabbage, carrots, and kale. Much like my yoga focus, when crossovers first hit the scene, I was confused by them. Were they a van? SUV? What was this hybrid stuff? Crossovers sit on a sedan's frame, making it a little bit utility and a little bit touring. It's innovative to take one thing and smush it into something else. That's basically what pop rock music did. In that sense, you could say crossovers are the pop rock music of vehicles. The Honda CRV is a four cylinder, 1.5 liter, 190 horsepower crossover with turbo. At under $35,000, it's a good vehicle for people looking in this class who want the flexibility of a crossover along with room and comfort. In this adventure, I completed my mission of doing something I'm terrible at. It was hard, but it's important to me to try new things, challenge my own perspectives, and give myself a chance to grow. Mallory was right. Yoga takes practice, patience, and with time, you get better. Ultimately, yoga calmed my nerves by controlling my body to uncontrol my mind. I've learned that the monkey mind is like autopilot, which is great if I know where I'm going, but terrible without a clear destination. Yoga shifts me into steering my life manually. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe for more adventures. Thank you, CRV.